morning. Hallelujah. It's great pleasure to see such a testimonies and be in such a church as ours and to enjoy uh, hope, joy, and peace and future. Hallelujah. As, as we have today, first week and uh, first Sunday of New Year, usually many people, churches or companies of people gave the name for New Year. Sometimes people do individually or corporately. And I want to short, shortly talk my desire and my advice <clears throat> to give for us as a church such a name as a, as a care that this year will be a year of care, responsibility, and, and commitment. As, as we heard today, and that's already many times repeated, we still continue in the in same vision to save people. As, as we saw right now, testimony of this beautiful, beautiful young lady, reality which she met just in the split of the second, and eternity in, in its tra tragedy, which cannot be reverse, reversed. But grace of God for her, she could come back and testify for us danger of tomorrow without God. And God himself provides solution through, through the ages. He cured his, his purpose and his vision and brought on earth his only son, with him, he gave solution for every problem in our life. And as a, as a prophet T.B. Joshua and many, many other preachers say such a saying, we have, to, we have to pray to God as everything depends from him. And we have to work so hard relying upon our, our strength, do maximum, as everything depends from us. And uh, <clears throat> by caring, we, ac we accomplish things. And today I want to mention a few things specifically uh, for what we, we have to care this year. We cannot miss such a things, because if, if we study carefully things which broken apart, not accomplished, not reached in, in year of uh, 2015, we will find out that things which we stopped for what we stopped to care fall apart. We cannot, we cannot accomplish, we cannot go forward with, to reach things if we will not care for it daily. Having, having so big respons responsibility, save people from internal, save soul from internal, internal condemnation. That's a responsibility and that salvation of souls brings salvation of life, change society, community where, where we live. That's great purpose and can be reached by our care. First of all, I want I to give advice that each of us 
to reach such a high and big goals, purpose in our life, we first of all have to care for ourself. We cannot neglect, forsake ourself. First of all, to help for somebody, we have to be ourselves in right and good shape, in good state. We have to this year care for first of all for our body. Our body supposed to be in good shape, healthy. We have to train, we have to care, <clears throat> wake wake up earlier, do 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 our walking, training. Uh, using gym and many different different um, uh, sport to keep our body healthy. That's our responsibility. Ne neglecting our body in the final, uh, I I finally we will neglect everything because we live in our body. To care for our body is so, is so important because Bible says that our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And our body is supposed to be rightly cared. And we are responsible. I, I think that subject is um, widely, uh, widely promoted today, but many by many people is neglected we have man, many books many programs many, many tv shows but as a church we don't, don't have to be so spiritual that we will forget uh, forget about our body that's take care this year for your body Amen. your body is supposed to be nice beautiful uh, strong function because on your body there is many responsibility on your body hands a lot of, a lot of things for your personal life for your marriage for your family for your career for your business for everything if your body will be broken sick you will be poor to care for our body, we have, to, we have to be disciplined daily, watch our body, that we will, will be looking good and, and healthy and strong. Secondly, I want to say that we will care for our soul. Our soul, uh, that's our mind, uh, our uh, conscience, our education, um, our, our character. We have to care for it. We, we cannot be loosed. We have to have restriction and, and care for our soul because our, as, as our body our soul is a target for devil. He tried to wound us. Take, take joy, take peace, put depression, low self-esteem. To care, to care for our soul, it's so important that we will be intelligent people, people of influence, to be a leader, to be in honor, in honor, uh, people with with responsibility, people of, of influence, care for our soul. It's so important. That's why we have to surround ourselves with the right community, right people with the right and high standards. And 
every time we renew our, our, our level, pick it up. That's our soul will be, will be a, as a light in darkness. That's our life will be, will be as a star for people uh, when, when we are. That's so important that we will be people, college, people of business, uh, good rep reputation among our uh, co-workers, our neighbors. It's our soul for what we have to care. That from our soul, when people have communication with us, fellowship with us, Every time, grace, smile, joy, blessing comes in the, in, the, in the life of people. We have to care for our soul. Regularly praying, reading Bible, study the Bible. Uh, our soul is it, our life. Second, uh, thirdly, we have to care for our spirit. Spirit, that's the life from God. That's the par part of, of, our, of our part which, which from God. By it, we have communion with God. With our body, we have communion with the fleshly physical world and express ourselves in, in the physical world. In our body lives our soul. Soul, with our soul we have fellowship with the souls of people. We know their opinion, their things of soul. But with our spirit we have communion with God. It's so important that our spirit will be sharped every time with such a testimonies, word of God, sermons, preaching. We have to surround it, surround ourselves daily that our spirit was, will be awakened in fellowship with the Holy Spirit, in fellowship with God. Because when spirit alive, he instructs our soul how to do correctly. And our soul correct and, and, and direct our body how to be safe, how to be safe, safe. Where connection in our spirit as are broken with God, with Holy Spirit, we, are le we lead our soul from our body. We can know it's wrong there, there is wrong, these things is wrong, but we do, do not have power to lead our soul, to lead our life rightly, because our life led by flesh. It's so important to care for our spirit, that our spirit be alive, to have fellowship and unity with God can feel his presence, fear of God. That's so important to care for our spirit because our, our spirit is a, as a cell phone, as a communication with the spiritual world with God. If we do not care for our spirit, can be, we can easily be lost and take, and flesh will take advantage and lead us as astray in without beautiful life beautiful soul we can have education we can have can have diploma we can we can have finances we can have business we can we can have a beautiful wife strong family many things but if your spirit disconnected with god you can be easily be cut by the flesh and let, let astray. So this year, do not miss, 
do not neglect care for your spirit that that fuel we will be always always there that your connection with God with Jesus with the Holy Spirit will be always alive this year care for your marriage we have to know what where we stop care for something that's the point of destruction starts from there many broken marriages and broken families if they study carefully where the point of uh, reverse happened where the point of destruction happened that's the same point where you st stop to care for it and it's stopped to fu function each of us we have we we were as a uh, little ch uh, children and we have in our home our small uh, granddaughter and we clearly understand that small small girl in the future will be great many things she can accomplish but if parents or anybody will stop care for her nothing will happen and the care hence so big mighty things when we neglect when we careless people nothing happen if we accept if we wait and if we hope this year for great things in our life in every area area of business finances uh, health um, if we we wait and we hope we put high uh, level of expectation we have to clearly understand it's not happen we if we will not care we have to put big effort and God will help us when we care for it so care for your marriage uh, if if you not if you still single pray for it care for it because because strong marriage it's strong family strong family strong church and community each of us we have to take responsibility it's it's possible in this year to change i came from a different culture and we know and we know today in the world many cultures and concerning marriage if you take uh, if you take for example muslim uh, muslim marriage is is really rough and i came I came for such a background where husband, uh, to prove himself as a husband, he has to be re really, really serious and rough to prove that I am the boss in, in, in the house. And, but when I met American culture, how, how uh, being as a, as a missionary in Russia, and I found uh, I had few meetings with the pastors and with the evangelists and when I saw how they behave in their marriages I found I am I am wrong it looks like I always uh, always everything keeping in 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 my in my hand but profit not 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 reward not much and when I heard that people behave differently in marriage I came to conclusion no I have to change and I have to care rightly for my marriage and from that point I make turn around and care for my marriage today as you know as, as my kids know my, my sons and, and, and my daughter they, they clearly can see that my home lives as a, as a paradise why? Because from morning to evening, I care for my marriage. Not 
I'm not talking yet for, 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 for family. I always pray with my wife. Be, be, she, ne, she never can leave the home before the door when I not pray for her together. And kids can see it. And I open for her door. Why I do so? Maybe, not, maybe it's not because I always in the right mood. But I do so because I care for my marriage. It looks like we will we'll live together 30 years and many things it's, it's put together. But if I will start care for my marriage, that's the point of, that's, this is the point of, of falling apart. We have to care for marriage. We have to care for our family, for our kids. As a family, totally, kids, children, care for your parents this year. Because Bible says, if you honor your parents, you, your days will be prolonged and you will find the blessing in your life. It's so important. Uh, it's, it's too late. Care if it's too late reap harvest in, in autumn if you did not care for it during, from, from very, very spring, if you did not sow. Not long, not long ago, I, remem I remember our, brat, uh, our brother um, Alex Dragonchuk and his wife Nadia came to me maybe a few months ago and they brought $20,000 and ask me, we have this offering, we want to offer this money, and we, hope, we want to solve this money. Because when I watch my family tree, I see man, many bad things around my, my relatives. And, but we have three, three daughters, and we, we care for our family. We want that our family will be different. And we separate this money. We want to solve this money in our family. We want to solve in kingdom of God. And they ask me, uh, we have some, some kind of idea to, to solve this money. And, and they ask me, you know that sister from Africa, is it, is it possible what you think about to solve in her ministry over there? Uh, for uh, in the Sirotsky Dom head, faster. Oh, off, off and home, uh, house. And uh, really sorry uh, that I tell to you these this maybe secrets, but I want to teach. I want to teach you how to care. And uh, I I told him. Alex, it, it is a really good idea. It's big money, $20,000, yours and for us too. But as a pastor, I care for our church, have to move it forward, have to see thousands for salvation and healing and deliverance. Uh, offering, uh, how you say? One more. Orphan, orphans is so important. But in every country there is government, they have to be responsible, have to feed the, the orphans. And our church, we, as a church, we offer many times in many places. But I have, a, as a pastor who cares for our vision, I have idea. <clears throat> One sister, Michelle, she came not long ago here. I, I don't see her right now. And she told us about in Africa, in Cameroon, wise man John Chi promote, when, when you saw right now on, on a screen coming up, coming up, it's better to call not, not conference, but crusade. And it's too, uh, that's, that's, pro, that's film, it's too, sorry, Mjolna. Too, too modern, if you can do a little bit uh, slower. 
to, 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 to fast. <coughs> and that man of God over there just started his ministry. He in the process to build his building. But healings and deliverance from demons and people packed the, the building, just roof and, and the, no doors, no windows, no floor, nothing, just floor and half of the, of, of, of the uh, no, not floor, just roof and half of, of the walls. And pe people packed by thousands. And I, I uh, told Alex, hey, let's your money and we will add it church money to offer for that ministry and invite John Chi to do crusade in our in uh, in Tri City. Be sourceful. Is it possible to say resourceful? Resourceful. Be resourceful. Have to manage. Have care better. Have to find right way. And we talk together with brothers, my, my leaders, and I, and I say to, to them, hey, it's, there is opportunity. Is young, mighty, spiritual leader, John Chi, started his ministry. He is in, he is in the beginning, and for him, need, need help, financial help. And I went there in Cameroon, check out everything, and found that they using mic and, and speakers this 30 years ago but bought it. And we found the, the space to offer the money there, not, not the money, but buying things. And we bought, for, and we bought a whole sound system in Cameroon for church. That's really expensive stuff. If we will buy, we bought same same speakers. This speaker one piece cost three thousand five hundred dollars, but we found Ilya were commi committed to to buy all stuff, and we bought in China absolutely same, but the different name, for for three hundred fifty <laughs> one piece and ten ti ten times cheaper, <laughs> and. Uh, we, we, we bought cameras, uh, uh, ca cameras, we bought mics, many, many things. Totally, if we will buy in America all this stuff, it will be cost for us $150,000. But we bought all stuff for, uh, with our ways uh, for, for $50,000. Why we do such a things? Because as a pastor, as a leader, we care we know this twenty thousand dollars which Alex offer, what we offered. We we know if God will move in America among us, tomorrow we will can tomorrow we, we can offer in a, in Africa for these children not twenty thousand dollars but two hundred thousand. But if we will. If we will care carefully and watch out everything put in the right place, that means care, care rightly, with, 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 the, with the purpose, be careful. And for us, so important over there, install the sound system, because if you offer money, money really fast will go here and there, because there is still no, no floor, there is still, uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe, maybe they do, do not have yet the win windows and, and doors, but when we install the sound system, that will stay for long. And that's we do to enter in covenant, spiritual covenant, because we care when this man will come in America to preach, that's the, the importation of spiritual things will be left on our ministry. A few weeks, a few weeks maybe, maybe uh, af after that, uh, our decision maybe a little bit more. That same, same minister, John Chi, called us that his van 
that's already dying. And if he can help, and if he can help to buy engine and transmission. And I said for him, such an idea in America is not profitable. It's easier in America to, to buy better car without, without putting new transmission, new engine, and many, many things. And as a church, to care for, for us, we have to care for others. We, I went there and checked out that need of the people over there were really big. People are coming from Europe, from China, from many different places to, to receive healing, deliverance, to receive uh, freedom and breakthrough. And people, when I came to Cameroon, Friday evening, thousands of people stay in a life line through whole night that in the morning Saturday to receive registration that in the Sunday morning they can enter the church. Sunday morning, church were, was absolutely packed and service prolonged eight, ten, ten hours. People receive many healings as you see today on, on crusade of Columbia as prophet T.B. Joshua prayed that the same things happened there. And we, decide, and we decided, uh, we're, we're th thinking, what we will do with this transmission and this in engine? And I found one van, 15 seats. Uh, seats. It's really good, just one year old, 4,000 4, just mileage, but hit a little bit in the front. And we decided to bring care for our vision, to multiply our church, to care for ministry over there. And we bought it. We thought that that event will cost much a lower price, but God's things sometimes cost ex expensive. And we bought for twenty thousand dollars. It's that's when it's ready to ship it. Two weeks ago, we sent it a sound system, system, and maybe a week from now, we will send the, that's that's when. Second, second, my uh, another my point. When from when from. Jerusalem to Jericho, men was going. Robbers attack him and rob him and left him half dead. On that same way, priest was going and he saw this wounded person and left him behind. After a few hours, Levi passing by too, and he did not care for, for him and le left him to die over there on the side of the road. But Jesus saying his, his proverb, his uh, proverb, uh, he, he explained, explained and said ab ab about, about Samaritan, that the person who was full, full of care when he saw him, maybe it was a risk to God in, 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 uh, in danger again with him, with him. But he took him on his shoulder, lay on his donkey, and brought, to, uh, brought a, in hotel and left and said, when I come back, care for him, if I will, when I will Come back, I will pay what you spent on him. There, there, is, there, is, uh, there is healing when, when man was paralyzed. And for, for his friends, 
found that Jesus in, in, in city and he was in the, in the house. They took four of them, that's paralyzed man, on his bed and care for him. Brother and sisters, to accomplish great task, purpose, to change things around us, we have to be people of care in our home, in our body, in our soul, in our spirit. We have to be people of care of our marriage, our family, and we have to care around us. There is great reward for those who care. If you will carefully, carefully look on this century, you will find out people whose life totally changed. They experience a resurrection from death. Their soul is saved and life is changed. It's happened because somebody cared for them. Somebody visited them, called them, met them, met them talk, talk to, prophesy in their, in their lives. This year, to achieve salvation, healings, and deliverance, make this year a year of care, commitment. Take responsibility upon yourself. Your life personally will be different and around you will be different. Be careful, carelessness. Carelessness is demonic. Be careful because devil came to kill, steal, and destroy. It's demonic in laziness, carelessness. When you lose yourself, it's demonic. You have to resist carelessness as you resist devil to devil himself. Remember, when you carelessness, if you do not care, you let by devil. Be careful, care for your home. Around you, care. God he, himself in send, he will send his angels and help you and support your care. In Jesus' name, amen.